What's up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you exactly what the CompTIA IT Fundamental Certification is in case you want to get this certification in your professional life. So let's get into it. If you've ever wondered what it's like to break into the world of IT, but felt completely overwhelmed by the technical lingo, the certifications, or the sheer volume of things you think you need to know, well, don't worry, you're not alone. Let's say you're curious about tech. Maybe you're still in high school and you're thinking about your future career, or maybe you're working at a job that isn't lighting your fire and you've been hearing that IT is the place to be, or maybe you're just someone who wants to better understand how computers and technology works. Whatever your reason, there's a certification made for people just like you, and it's called the CompTIA IT Fundamentals, or the ITF for short. Now, in this video, we're going to unpack everything you need to know about this certification in plain English. No jargon, no fluff, just real talk about what it is, why it matters, and what it could mean for your future. All right, so let's start with the basics. The CompTIA ITF, this is an entry-level certification designed to help absolute beginners get a handle on the fundamentals of IT. So think of it like dipping your toes into the tech world without getting completely soaked. It's often the first step for people who are exploring whether a career in IT is right for them, or it's for people who are switching careers and want to test the waters, or it's for people who are in school and want to add some credibility to their resume, or it's for people supporting friends and family with tech and they want to do it better. Now, CompTIA, this actually stands for Computing Technology Industry Association, and this is a globally recognized organization that provides vendor neutral certifications. That means what you learn isn't tied to one specific company like Microsoft or Apple. It's broad knowledge that applies across the board. So in a nutshell, the ITF teaches you what IT is, how it works, and why it matters without expecting you to have any prior experience. What exactly do you learn when you study for the ITF? Well, here's a quick rundown of the topics. So you're going to talk about IT concepts and terminology where you're going to learn about the basic terms and concepts like what's an operating system, what's the difference between software and hardware, and what does a CPU actually do? You're going to talk about infrastructure. So you're going to understand how computers, networks, and devices are connected. And this includes types of devices, internet basics, and simple networking. You're going to talk about applications and software. So you're going to learn how application software work, how do you manage them, and what are the file types and extensions. There's going to be some software development. Now, don't worry. You're not going to be coding here like you're a professional. You're just going to get an intro to what programming is, how logic works, and what developers actually do. Then there's going to be database fundamentals. So you're going to learn what a database is, how data is stored, and what makes it searchable and useful. And then there's security. And this is one of the most important sections because you're going to learn how to keep data safe, avoid viruses, and get a basic understanding of cybersecurity threats. So you could think of the ITF as a quote unquote computer literacy 2.0 class, except it has a professional edge. Now, why should you get the ITF certification? Well, for one, it builds confidence. So one of the biggest hurdles to getting into IT is fear. The fear of not knowing enough, the fear of failure, and the fear of looking dumb. The ITF, this is designed to gently guide you past all of that. And you will walk away saying to yourself, wow, I actually get all of this stuff. Then it proves that you're serious. So when you apply for jobs or internships, having ITF on your resume tells employers that, hey, I'm not just interested, I've taken action. And that separates you from everyone else who says they're interested in IT, but hasn't done anything to show it. Next, it helps you choose the right path. So IT is very big. There's cybersecurity, cloud computing, software development, networking, help desk support, data analysts, and much, much more. ITF gives you a taste of each area so you can decide where you want to go next. It's like a sample platter before you get the full course meal. And then it's affordable and quick. So compared to other certifications, ITF is one of the cheapest and fastest to complete. And at the time of the recording of this video, the exam costs $138 and it's sometimes cheaper if you get a voucher. And if you want a voucher, you can go to my website, technologyg.com, where I sell discounted CompTIA vouchers. And when it comes to taking this test, most people study for just a few weeks before going on to successfully pass the exam. And you don't need any four-year degree. You're not going to rack up any student debt. You're just going to get knowledge and a credible certification. 
So who should take the ITF? Well, let me make this easy. You should definitely consider taking the IT fundamental certification if you fall into one of these categories. You're in high school or college and you're curious about tech or you want to switch careers, but you feel overwhelmed. You help people fix their technical issues, but you want more skills. You've never touched a command line or written a line of code a day in your life. Or you want a stepping stone to other certifications like the CompTIA A+. Now, remember, this certification is for beginners. You do not need to know anything beforehand. In fact, it is perfect for people who feel intimidated by IT because it takes away the fear and replaces it with clarity. Now, let's talk about how hard is this exam. So let me go ahead and be honest. This is not the hardest exam in the world, but it's not a cakewalk either. You still need to study. The exam has about 75 multiple choice questions, and you need to score a 650 out of 900 to pass. And most people, they study for about two to four weeks using resources like online courses, books, free videos on YouTube, and practice exams. And speaking of free videos on YouTube, you see the screenshot right here. That is my actual CompTIA ITF course here on YouTube, where hundreds and hundreds of people have successfully passed the certification just by watching that video. So make sure y'all go check that out. But I say all of this to say, the key is to go at your own pace. This is meant to be a learnable certification, not an impossible certification. All right, so let's say you've passed the exam and now you're CompTIA ITF certified. What do you do now? Well, here are your next steps. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna use it to land your first entry-level job. So while ITF isn't a job guaranteeing certification like A plus or security plus, it can help you land entry level roles if paired with other skills or training. And here are some jobs that may consider the ITF certification as a foot in the door. So you might qualify as an IT support intern, help desk technician level one, junior technical support, tech sales associate, field service technician trainee, or a computer support specialist assistant. So you can think of it this way. ITF shows you that you're ready to learn and grow, which makes you attractive to employers that are looking to invest in new talent. The next thing you're going to do, you're going to build towards attaining higher level certifications. So if you decide you want to go further in IT, the natural next step after ITF is to get the CompTIA A plus certification because that cert is the industry standard for help desk and support roles. And from there, you might branch off into getting your CompTIA Network Plus certification, which is for networking roles, your Security Plus, which is for cybersecurity, your Cloud Plus, and that's for cloud careers, and Linux, and that is for server admin roles. So ITF, this helps you understand where you want to go, and it gives you the confidence to keep moving. Another thing you can do, you can use it for non-technical roles as well. So even if you don't end up working directly in IT, the ITF can still help you. Tons of jobs these days, they require basic tech literacy. You have project managers that are working with IT teams that need to know something about tech. You have office managers that are dealing with software and hardware, digital marketers that handle analytics tools, and customer support teams that use technical platforms. All of them need to know a little something, something about tech. So having ITF, this shows that you're tech savvy enough to keep up, and that gives you a competitive edge. Now, let's get to the most important part here. How much money can you actually make with the CompTIA ITF certification? Now, the ITF on its own, this will not launch you into a six-figure career, but it can help you get started in roles that pay $15 to $25 an hour or $35 to $50,000 a year, depending upon the position and location. Now, that's not bad for an entry-level cert that only takes a few weeks to get. Now, once you move into higher-level certs like A+, Net+, or Security+, you're going to start seeing salaries jump as high as sixty dollars to $90,000 or more per year. So remember, ITF is about planting the seed. The growth is up to you. So that leaves the big question. Is the CompTIA ITF certification worth it? So if you're just starting out, feeling unsure, or you're testing the waters in IT, then yes, ITF is absolutely worth it because here's what you're going to get. You're going to get a solid understanding of basic IT concepts. You're going to get a confidence boost that says you can do this. You're going to get a certification that you can show off to potential employers, and it's going to be a stepping stone to bigger and better opportunities. So it's not the flashiest certification. 
It will not make you a tech wizard overnight, but it will get you moving in the right direction. And sometimes that first step is the most important one. So if you're ready to explore a career in tech, do not overthink it. Start with the CompTIA IT fundamentals because it could be the beginning of something great.